Hello and hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Miniature Mondays. This is a collab with two Utes transplanted. I will put down all their information down below so you can see what they're creating today. Last week they made a really cool fireplace so you have to go and see it and it's like so easy peasy. I love their tutorials, absolutely love them. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little different. Okay, last week I shared... Um, some things that I made for an attic scene. This week I wanted to do a dress up table. So this is an item from the Dollar Tree. This is a little table. You can make this at home out of anything, out of wood, out of leftover items, out of, you know, lids. You make your own little legs out of anything. You can create your own table out of even paper and cardboard, okay? You don't need to go buy it. Just be creative. I'm using this because Black Hawk sent this to me on my birthday, okay? Now, she also sent to me these fabrics, okay? So, she sent me all these fabrics, and I was like, I want to use some of her fabrics. And she did send me a white fabric, which I thought was going to work out well with what I'm trying to do today, just so you guys can see. But she sent me, oh, you guys have to see this one. Oh, I'm going to pull that one out separately. But she sent me all these beautiful fabrics, right? Let me put this here. So there's my fabrics. Look at this tall scene that she sent to me. Insane. Absolutely insane. So I want to put this on a wall, a removable wall, like put it on something harder that I can move in and out of that room and have it so I can use it for other rooms. Yeah, so I have plans for that one, honey. Then she sent me this one as well. This might be a future project. I don't know if I'll do it on Miniature Mondays or not, but this is something I do want to do. It has I have a mattress here, Dollhouse Miniature Mattress, and I would love to cover it with this fabric because this gives it like such an old school feel, right? And then you push it in, and then you do you do the little sewing to give it the little the little punk the little um, dips. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so that's something I want to do as well. There we go. All right, now you see this. I did a video sharing all the things that I had in here not too long ago, and I've started to incorporate some of the things that are inside this holder as well in this project. So I'll link that video. Up as well now I used the white fabric she sent me some white fabric I did have I did go back and forth a little bit about if I wanted to keep it long there's a couple of ways you can do that if you want to keep it long um, some people put aluminum foil in the back of their fabric and then it allows you to kind of play around with it if it's a really good heavier weight um, aluminum foil to give it like a wave and what have you you could do that, or you can put pennies at the corners of your of the ends of it. Me, I decided just to make it short and dip it around here at the bottom because this is going to go in my buttercup. And my buttercup is a very small house, so I don't want to make it look too fussy. I might end up doing something here to the little sides here, maybe making them white or something. I don't know yet, okay? But this is what our table looks like. Boom. Then Barbara, one of my friends here on YouTube, she is a dollhouse miniature creator. Um, I met up with her and she gave me, because she, she was retired and she wasn't in dollhouse miniatures, um, creating dollhouse miniatures. She's a true artisan and she would sell her goods as well. She was in shows and everything. And she gave me what she had. She sent me a whole bunch of really cool stuff. And this is one of them. Um, so as you can see, it's this really cool setting here. They even has the utensils and it has the food and the plates on it. Okay. So I have two of these I'm going to place down here on my table. And I think I'm going to put them um, here on the farther edge. So I have two of those that she created. And this little knife is getting a little wacky dacky here but let me I don't want to lose my knife here we go and here's the other one so she so got your steak you got your potatoes oh see I'm sorry 
you got your steak, you got your potatoes, and then you got your veggies. All right, so we're gonna place this here. Okay, right here. Beautiful, I love it so far. Now, then we're gonna add some drinks because it doesn't have any drinks. Now I got these drinks right here from Shein and these were earrings. Yeah, earrings. And I just take off the earring part. Okay, so we're gonna do our drinks and I should be putting this down with a little bit of something or it's all gonna fall off when I try to share it with you. So let me see if I can use some of my, here we go, tacky wax. They comes in different in different you know companies to it. I like the clear tacky wax because I found if I use the blue tacky wax that it does leave a stain. So I'm just gonna put this here, right there. And I'm gonna tacky wax the bottom one for this one. There we go. And put that one right here on the opposite side. Okay. I don't want to tacky wax the settings though, just, just those little cups. Then the next thing I wanted to add. Yeah, I got the tacky wax a little over my um, fingers. I have this little right here, this little guy right here. This was um, a pendant, as you can tell. Now, normally I'll just cut off the top, but I wanted to show you it's a pendant. It's metal. You could just snip that off. But it's a little teapot, and it looks like that. So I'm going to put my little teapot right here. I'm going to add just a little bit of wax on my teapot. It's going to be kind of hard because the edge is so thin. Here we go. I want to just add it there. Then I want to add these. You see those? So now we have some jams. And they are loose because they were loose in my little container over there. So this is, uh, I don't know, this is, I can't tell. But they're jams, and then I had these little, these little, um, what do you call these, platters. Then I had some earrings that were, they were made like this that looked like bread, and I took the earring back off. Again, all that was from Shein, and I took those off so I could have a loaf of bread. So we're going to place this one right about here. Okay, right in the middle. Now, after they're done with their lemonade... Actually, I could probably put, mm, I'm going to see, maybe I could put the teapot right here. Then after they're done, it's going to be someone's birthday. And I had this little cake and I had these platters. Then this little white insert, because at first I had put the cake in there just like that. And I was like, uh, I'm not really feeling that. It's not too exciting. I said, let me cut, you know, a white background and it really helps it to pop. That white background came from the back of a sticker from the Dollar Tree. I just cut it from the back end. And, um, you know, it's somebody's birthday. So we're gonna celebrate somebody's birthday. Now, I did have some more options that I can do. And I was, I could either take off, you know, I could take the platter off and just put the little things here without the platter. like so and not even leave the bread and just have the teapot but then it doesn't look like they're drinking tea right so I shouldn't even have the teapot there because they're drinking lemonade then I could just put the loaf of bread there and it would take up less space so we have one more option that we can do as you can tell there is the table and that's what it looks like you know, the cake shifting because I did not put fabric, you know, the, the little tacky stuff on it. But as you can tell, it looks 